Welcome to uh, the banks of the River Thames at Hampton Court for a, a one-on-one -on -one with the most wonderful, talented, lovely man. Say hello to Martin Joseph. Hi, Rob. Martin, hiya. Martin <laughs> is, uh, is, is a dear friend of mine and is just so talented. And what's going to make this a bit different We've, we've spoken to musicians before. Of course we have. Chris Martin, anyone? Noel Gallagher, Kelly Jones, of course we have. What makes this different? Well, you may have guessed already, we're going to have live music. Uh, welcome. Thank you, Rob. You Good have to be here. the most splendid album. Look at this. Martin Joseph, 1960. I want you to play something from it, and we're going to talk about it and about you. What's the first one? We're going to play a song called Born Too Late. Beautiful. That's one of the best introductions I've ever had in my life. Should have gone to Laurel Canyon in 1971. I could have sung some songs to Johnny and hung out in the sun, born too late. I was born too late, but there. And I said, go to Nashville when we toured in 94. You chase the edge of that new country, boy. You just walk right through the door, born too late. I was born too late for that. Yes, I was. Well, how long does it take for a man to know himself? How long does it take for a man to, to know himself? Well, you can lie just like the Kremlin and in an Americana band. Well, you can plant your flag in the Sinai Desert and watch those armies land born too late. Yeah, I was born too late for that. And when the priest ain't bless the liar And when the liar has his way I never thought I'd wake up now And see that in my day Thought I was born too late mm -hmm. Thought I was born too late for that Well, how long Does it take for a man to know himself? Somebody tell me how long does it take for a man to, to know himself? Yeah. Borrowed memory, replay a thousand scenes, but you'll miss the mighty wisdom while you're waiting on your dream. Born too late, yeah, I was born too late for that. I can feel the tension rising, I feel that rank and file. But I didn't see Josephine Baker taken by my granddad's smile. I was born too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was born too late for that. Yes, I was. So how long does it take for a man to know himself? Somebody tell me. How long? Does it take for a man to know himself? How long does it take for a man to know himself? How long will it take for this man to know himself? 
I should have gone to California in 1971 and hung out with Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Neil Young. Yes, that is lovely. That's a great song. That's a great song. Let's talk specifically about that song. So, so lyrically, you start off, should, should have gone to Laurel Canyon. Yeah. Uh, explain what that is for people who don't know. I watched a, a video uh, during lockdown, a documentary about Laurel Canyon, which was a sort of small um, town up in the hills outside of uh, Los Angeles. Uh, and in 1971, there was this big sort of earthquake of songwriters gathering there, uh, Joni Mitchell, um, Jackson Brown, Crosby, Stills, Nash, etc. Uh, so that's the reference to, to, to Laurel Canyon. It was 1971, and I, I had this thought, uh, what if I'd been born uh, 10 years early in 1950, and uh, I would have been 21 and, and, and got to go there and hang out. I have the same thing. <laughs> I have the same thing with light entertainment in Britain. Why couldn't I have been born 10 years earlier? And done the generation game or, or the two runnies. I mean, Seriously. well, they say it in a in a in a, stu yeah. in a dumb way, but but yeah, there is point, yeah, there yeah. is a point where you go, oh, would I would I have fitted in that era huh. a, a a bit more? But then, what's great in that song, and I want to come to the art line. Yeah. Well, let's do that first. Then you have this lovely line, which I don't know if people pick up on. Art said, "Go to Nashville when we toured in 94. 94. Now, tell us about that." So I was signed to, um, to Sony Music at the time, and it was very exciting, and we'd loved a few songs in the outer reaches of the top 40, and, um, and they had me on tour with people like Celine Dion and, uh, um, I don't know, Christa Burr, all these people opening up, you know, and I found myself on tour with, uh, with Art Garfunkel, one half of, you know, like a huge influence, Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, yeah. You know? with the, the, the tour ended somewhere in Europe, and uh, um, I, I sort of said a sort of final farewell to him, and we'd actually said goodbye, and he, went, and he turned around and he said, he said you know, you should go to Nashville, and that was it. It was just this, really? that line. So I've never, I hadn't, I hadn't forgotten that. And it was, as I was thinking about, well, I wondered if I'd been at Laurel Canyon, what would have happened if I had, you know, I, I'm, I'm from Cardiff, but you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, am I going to move to Nashville? But if I had, and I'd gone out there and 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 uh, you know, got in with the crowd, and and but I, I'm, you know. I didn't, and so so that's the sort of some of the premise of some of the song of what might have been, I suppose. We should tell people because my God, they'll want to know how we met. Well, we had a um, a mutual friendship with Alan Thompson. You'd known Alan since uh, for many many years mm -hmm. and worked with him in your early days in BBC Radio Wales. Uh, and I went on Alan's show um, a number of times in the last, I guess, twenty years. You know, I would go on, and he was he was he was a lovely lovely fella. And he would always um, promote my music and, and songs and, and stuff. And he always said, you know, I've got to introduce you to Rob Brydon, you know, because he's a big Elvis fan, a big Bruce fan, you yeah, know. Yeah, you yeah. know. And I think he probably punished you by giving you one yeah, or two of my me, CDs. He used to send me, yeah, used to send me yeah, the CDs yeah. and stuff. See, yeah. so, see that he kept his word. You know, a lot of people say, oh yeah, I'll send it to so and so, but you, you, they never actually do that. But he did it. Oh yeah, he. Yeah, he oh yeah, yeah. 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 He, he he would, yeah. and he was he was always. Kind of bigging up because I'd known him. He was the when my Keith Barrett character started with Al. We had a double act thing called Tony and Keith, who talked to each other like that. <laughs> and Al played uh, Al played Tony, talked like that. All right, mate. What you'd call in Cardiff a chifo. All right, mate. How you going? All right. And and Keith was like this. So Al Al has passed away tragically, uh, very, sadly. very sadly, way too young. And we met at his. Funeral. So we met at his. The funeral. Exactly. But I, I, I was thinking about this on the way up, and I, I just, that must have made him smile somewhere. Yes. You know, the, you know the, yes. the, the, it, it was that that brought us to, together. And I, um, I remember we, we, we ended up in the same pew uh, in yeah. the church. And you got up um, without notes and, and went to the, you know, the front and, and just gave this incredible eulogy. Um, it was so moving. It was so heartfelt, and and uh, it made me realize how much you guys loved each other. And, and you know, it was, uh, and um, I, you know, because I I knew Rob Brydon from what I'd seen on TV, which is you know, you just knew the good looking TV, the good looking TV guy makes yeah, people laugh, yeah. you know. But I just seems I, like he has it all. <laughs> yeah. But there was a depth to what you said that made me think. Oh, um, I think Rob and I are going to get on, you know. Yeah. And uh, so it was. And yeah. then I came to see your show. You came to see my show. Uh, I came to see you play a show in Coventry, That's Warwick right. Art Centre, the big. Uh, big and place then there. you came back to the dressing room. You showed me the dad gad tune yes, on the guitar, and the rest <laughs> is history. <laughs> 
The rest is history. Yeah, yeah. And then you joined me uh, on stage at the Half Moon in Putney a few yeah. times. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and here we are. I want more, more music from you. One of the songs that, that you've played uh, live, which really moved me, and, and I think it was when I, I met your daughter, because now, mm. look, I'll share something now. Um, to, this is going to sound like a combination of name dropping and oversharing, but it ties into the song you're about to sing. Um, I met Alan Bennett today uh, at a funeral, yeah. right? and I'd never met him, and I was able to say to him, I said, one of the many things about you, I said, is that when I used to take my eldest daughter to university up in Newcastle, we would always listen to your recordings and it became a thing. Yeah. So it's, so it's your, that's another reason that you're very special to me. And he said, oh, oh that was very kind. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and all was well. Now, because as your kids grow older, you have less time with them. You don't spend all that time with them. So this song, tell us about this next song. Well, so Harriet and Eamon, she was studying um, a, a music degree actually in, in, in London and uh, driven her back after Christmas and uh, we began to swap generational songs on our, our iPhones. So she would play one and I would play one to pass the time of the day. And, um, and I, I really believe that songs are kind of in the air and you have to grab the moment, make some note of it. So we got to memory services and she went to get a, a real expensive coffee at uh, Costa or something, you know, and I got up my phone and just started making a few notes about this swapping of songs and this, this thing, because I felt there was some, yeah. something in the air, you know. Yeah. Um, and so I wrote this song and, and it's, it's about that, um, you know, you, you, you wanna, you, you try to make the path smooth for them and, you know, and sometimes, you know, you get, you really get in the way <laughs> as a parent, you know. Um, and I think the way that our kids honor us is to, is to take away the best of who we are mm. and to say, and to leave behind the rest, you know, because we're, we're just kids at heart too and we're just trying to pass whatever wisdom we might have onto them and love them and everything else, but we mess up too. Um, and so there was, there was a whole... Um, wave of, of, of vulnerability about the, the, that journey up as I was taken aback again and just realizing this, she was becoming a woman and, and, and that letting go, all of that process that you have to do uh, as a parent. So, um, so I reach for, reach for the cheap therapist and, and, <laughs> and, and here's, the, here's the song. Hair of golden sun A light I'll always know your laughter carries rainbows I held you to the sky not long ago And now there you fly See how high How high you go Driving her back to London It's home from home for her Swapping tunes on iPhones she plays me the kings of Leon I play her the rolling stones And time slips away But all that's gathered will remain I'm driving her home now Once again Mine is not to know Mine is just to ask I just want to know that you're okay And I want everything to fit in place at last All of those pieces that we found Could you take away my best And please leave all the rest And I'm driving her back to London Home from home for her We're swapping tunes on iPhones She plays me beach house I play her blur And time slips away But all that's gathered shall remain I'm driving her home now Once again A walk without wounds And light up all those rooms 
with your face And I still might have some words for you But there's none that come to mind Cause there's not much vocabulary That I have ever left behind And I just hope I hope I wasn't too much But you are loved and beautiful So much more than words could ever know London, this is home from home for you We've been swapping tunes on our iPhones I played you Bruce And you played me the mighty muse And times just slipped away But everything that's gathered I think it remains So I'm driving you home I'm driving you home And if you'll have me I'll do it again Again Made me cry. Uh, I hope you're happy. <laughs> Job done. See what you've done. That's a beautiful song. That's a beautiful song. Thank you. Rob. Take Thank take you. away. Uh, what do you say? Take my best and, and leave behind all the rest. Leave I mean, that best. says it, doesn't it? It is. Yeah. It does. Yeah. God. Yeah. There's times when I feel like I've I've let my kids down. I think we all feel that at times. You know. And, we all, I think we all feel yeah. you've, let, you've, I, you've let them down at times. Yes. Yeah, I yeah. think everybody in this room would would, would agree <laughs> with that that you, you've let them down occasionally. And so uh, yeah, and so we uh, you know you just you see it's 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 a grown up relationship then, and you're basically yeah. saying hey I'm sorry, but you know yeah. I think the song says it better than I can yeah. speak it. And now I feel very shallow for going to humour when you were saying something <laughs> so nice. Not at all. You say you say in that song I. This I Melody Maker once said, um, what did they say? Uh, he makes Leonard Cohen sound like Julie Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> so we need a bit of Rob Brighton straight after yeah, me. Yeah, I have, to, I have to come in, as Lee Mack would say, keep it light. Um, <laughs> you meant in now, in that song, you say, um, I play you Bruce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there we are. Now there's a, the common love that we share for Bruce. Tell the story of when... Uh, am I am I getting confused here? You sent we we were uh, he, he put out a record and um, when I sent you that picture, am I getting confused? No, you're not getting confused. No, he was putting out Western Stars. Yes, I uh, texted you because I think I saw that he was doing a. Uh, uh, promotion, very exclusive thing in Soho, and I said, "Have you heard Bruce is in town?" And you literally sent me back a photograph, and it said five minutes ago, and there's you. With your arm around Bruce, and Bruce with his arm around you, and I thought, bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh. that was that was probably the greatest reply to a text <laughs> that I've ever received in my life. Oh, well, that was pretty exciting. Yeah, I, to you. I was there with my my, my best friend Reese, and I do, I very rarely ask anybody for a photo, right? But I wanted a photo with Bruce, and Reese said my hand was shaking when I handed him my phone. I mean, I'm 56 for God's sake. Um, but you, but you did the film, yes, uh, and you and you went to uh, Bruce on Broadway, yes. didn't you? which I was totally jealous about. And then and and you went back to stage to see him. Then. Yeah. So, so you and Bruce are well. We're you know, you know we've met on three times. I'm not counting. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah, well, and I did this film, Gurinder Chadha's film, yeah, Blinded by the Light, which is a Beautiful film, Fantastic. all yeah. about this kid growing up in Luton in the 80s. People should look it up and see it. And he finds salvation in Bruce's music. So, of course, for someone like me, and I'm sure you, you identify so much with it. Um, I mean, I think of Bruce Springsteen as a friend, as ludicrous as it sounds, yeah. but, but, but I really do. And one of the reasons I did that film, it's a tiny part, but I got to sing a bit of Thunder Road. And I knew that in the fullness of time, Bruce Springsteen himself would have to. He'd have to sit and watch that. And I couldn't get my head around how absurd that was. So, of course, I, I did it. And, 
And I, I met him after the Broadway show, and I said, they said, this is Rob, he's in uh, Garinder's movie. Hey, it was real good. <laughs> it was a great movie, a sweet movie. And I, and I think I said, I went, I, I, I'm, I'm the one who sang Thunder Road. <laughs> and he went, and you did good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure how sincere that was. But, but then, but then, and my wife said to him, my wife said, because it was an incredible show, yeah. and we had amazing seats, right? We were right down front and centre. And my wife said, oh, you must be exhausted. And he went, I want to go home. <laughs> and I thought, well, anything I say now is going to delay that. So, yeah. But then that, the Western Stars time was lovely. You said earlier um, um, about always having some political thing, uh, you, you, some little message, uh, some point in your songs. Your Nye Bevan song yeah. is, is, is a thing of beauty. Um, tell us about that and, if you would, perform it for us. I will. So I was asked about six years ago by Parliament to write songs for them. This is, that sounds ridiculous, but it's the truth. Uh, myself and three other renegade folk singers were asked by Parliament to write songs to commemorate the 800th celebration of, uh, of uh, the signing of the Magna Carta. I thought, OK. I said, how does this work? They said, we'd like you to write songs based on acts of Parliament since the 14th century. Yes. And you had quite a few of them already, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I could hear the top 40 hits pouring out of my guitar at that point. Yeah, so, um, so I thought, well, OK. And um, they actually took us to the House of Commons and we held in our hands some of the original law. I held in, I had laws that stopped kids working underground, the wow. laws that gave women the vote and this sort of thing. And, and I held in my hand the Two night. decisions I have to say I'm not entirely comfortable with, but go on. <laughs> and I held in my hand the 1946 Health Act um, that gave us the glorious beautiful, underfunded, and still standing and doing its best every day, the NHS. So I thought, oh, I could write about that. I could write to say thank you about Nye Bevan. And I, because I, I, knew, I knew who Nye Bevan was, and then the Manic Street Preachers, of course, you know, um, uh, had sung uh, and used his quotations. But I, 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 uh, I thought it would be great to thank him and, and, uh, and, com and commemorate the, uh, the NHS. So I, uh, I wrote this song, and uh, it's simply called Nye. Nine days before I was born, you were gone But what you left behind Great architect of health reform Came forth from your soft heart and tough mind When nothing good comes easy We fight for the dreams that we hold And you finally got your bill through Though you had to stuff their mouths with gold And the purpose of power is to give it away This is my truth, tell me yours Freedom won't be freedom until poverty is gone So now your dreams alive and strong Nurse tired and drained, it's 2 a.m. She summons up the strength again, she smiles it's not for the way she does this job, it's a greater call that cannot be defined. The surgery, the plaster tape, the arm around the aching and confused. And drugs to give a little one more time to play, they should never be refused. Now the purpose of power is to give it away. This is my truth, tell me yours. Freedom won't be freedom now till poverty is gone So now your dream's alive and strong The accident, the cancer cell, the final breath of sacrament at dawn The beating heart, the broken and the cry of the fragile being born Just nine days before I was born you were gone but what you've left behind your greatest hour remains with us nigh We're holding on with soft hearts and tough minds Now listen No society can call itself civilized If the sick are denied through a lack of means And if you don't believe me, you should take a plane, my friend Go break your arm and see what it costs down in New Orleans And the purpose of power is to give it to 
this is my truth, tell me yours Freedom won't be freedom till poverty is gone And now your dream's alive and strong And the purpose of power is to give it away And this is my truth, tell me yours Freedom won't be freedom until poverty is gone So now your dream's alive, alive and strong Gorgeous. Thank you. Gorgeous. Thank you. The interesting thing about the song is it's mostly made up of Night Bevan's words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, didn't have to work too hard at it, but um, I just thought it was, uh, it was good to commemorate that, and it's obviously very timely to, to be praising and thanking the wonderful NHS. Thank you well, for well, doing this. It's me? been a real privilege just to have the songs just sat there. So close. Uh, I, I will keep banging on about this because I want people to, to, to hear this. I think it's the best record you've made. Thank you. I, I think it's wonderful. There's a hidden track on it there is. at the end, and, and we have, I've ruined it before with you live on stage. We, we could finish off here. I would love to, yeah. I am a lying man for the count. I drive the main road Searching in the sun For another overload I hear you singing in the wire I can hear you through the wire And the Wichita lineman is still on the line I know I need a small vacation But it don't look like rain And if it snows that stretch down south Won't ever stand the strain I need you more than want you And I want you for all time And the Wichita lineman Is still on the Man. Thank you for doing this. It's a pleasure, Rob. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Really oh, do. Thank Martin you. Martin Joseph. Get in. Yeah.